and now we're going to talk about interpersonal communication. So if you want to watch, stay tuned! Before going any farther, let us define interpersonal communication. Enter means between, among, mutually, or together. The second part of the word personal refers to a specific individual or particular role that an individual may occupy. Thus, interpersonal communication is a communication between and among individuals. Interpersonal communication is used in every part of our life, from the moment you wake up in the morning to the second you fall asleep at night. It is a guarantee you have used interpersonal communication in some way. Interpersonal communication is an exchange of information between two or more people. Interpersonal communication is often defined as communication that takes place between people who are interdependent and have some knowledge of each other. For example, communication between a son and his father, an employer and an employee, two sisters, a teacher and a student, two lovers, two friends, and many more. Interpersonal communication can take place in face-to-face -face settings as well as through platforms such as social media. Nowadays, where mostly people are used to technologies and digital interaction, which unique communication takes place. Best example for this are Facebook, Messenger, Twitter, and more. It is considered to be a place of interaction between and among individuals. Interpersonal communication is the most important kind of communication. It happens when two individuals are in close proximity to each other and they are able to provide immediate feedback to one another. Interpersonal communication is the way we express our thoughts, our feelings, and ideas to the people around us. Interpersonal communication is something you need to do well as it affects many aspects of your life. So, how does interpersonal communication work? The interpersonal communication takes place when two people are at the same place, aware of each other's presence no matter how unintentional it is. It may not be in the form of speech, it may be a gesture or an expression. The essential factor is there should be a message and it should be sent by the sender and it should be received by the receiver. Interpersonal communication is very important in everyday life. It helps us build a relationship with one another. Also, it helps us to satisfy our physical needs, identity needs, social needs, and practical goals. Communication lets people exchange their feeling and information through verbal and nonverbal communication, through social media, or to face-to-face -face interaction. So, before this video will end, let me give you a quote. Don't just speak with your mind, speak with your heart because it matters. Thank you for watching!